Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do like a seven day forecast, okay, for the next seven days. So it's Monday now. I know that this is late. I should have done it in the morning, but this just came to me. So, you know, whatever something comes to me, I got to go with it. So we're going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to get a card. I'm going to get one of these. I'm going to get a couple of these, and I'm going to get one of these for each day of the week. It's just going to be a general energy for the day what you can probably expect, kind of like a weather forecast, okay? We're just going to see what comes up now. I know that it's Monday, so what do we got for Monday? Whoops. I don't want to do that. I'm just going to shuffle for a minute, and then I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick cards for each day of the week. We're just going to go like this. Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You deserve love. You are lovable. We could call this an overall energy for the week, right? You do deserve love. We all deserve love. That's that's the focus, right? Obviously it is. I don't even remember what the other one was. I didn't even look. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. We're going to take this one too. Sunday. Monday. What do we got for Monday? We need a couple cards for Monday. Monday energy. Monday weather forecast. Thursday. Saturday. Sunday. All right. Let's get started. What do we got for Monday? Monday is the, the 8th today. First card, self-love. Self-love, healing, inner healing, healing of your own heart. I love, I love myself. It's funny, you deserve love. This is about love. This is self-love. I love unrequited love. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Somebody may be focusing on themselves and deciding, you know, I deserve real love. They may be holding on to a situation where there isn't love, right? And they're deciding to let it go. They're deciding to let it end. You know, it's coming to an end. Somebody may be making a, uh, a call. I might as well take this one out too. Somebody may be making a call to, you know, I deserve love. I'm going to have to let go of this dead end so that I can have the happiness that I deserve. So I think that Monday we have an energy of letting go of a dead end where there is no more no more attraction no more chemistry you know there's no there's no need to hang on at this point it's over so i feel like somebody is deciding that their happiness matters and they're deciding to you know focus on a future love 
Um, could This could be focused on inner self-love as well. So somebody is probably releasing an unrequited love situation in search for extreme happiness, and it starts from within. So I feel like we have a, Monday is a day of... Uh, Focusing on your own happiness. That's what we got Monday. Monday's about inner happiness, self-love, so that you are, will be available for new love. And that's releasing an unrequited love situation. So I think releasing the love that is no more is going to bring you extreme happiness. So um, somebody is really following their heart on Monday. Tuesday... Tuesday the 9th. Ooh, somebody is going down that path to new love, right? They're deciding. They're deciding that they're going to take that path. They've been guided to take that path to follow their heart. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. We're not going to do reversals for this one. Somebody has made a decision. This is a very decisive person. This is a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be anybody. Could be anybody that has this in their chart. We all have it in our chart. So we have somebody that has made a decision that it's time to go down a new path and, you know, drop the burdens, let go of the responsibilities. They've been weighed really, weighed down very heavily by this decision. I think this person has been, you know, probably went through a period of feeling distraught knowing that they had to make a decision that they were overwhelmed with. I think somebody has been, you know, it's been a heavy decision, heavy decision as to whether, you know, they wanted to let go of the unrequited love situation and follow their heart. So I feel like on Tuesday, somebody is deciding to go down that path. They've made the decision, you know, to, uh, head in a new direction it looks like somebody is heading in a new direction towards new love it's been a heavy decision on Tuesday we're gonna get another card I need another card for Tuesday oh, Queen of Pentacles yeah there's a there's a big golden opportunity here right this is this is an opportunity that is something that you can save it's something that you can bank on this, per this person could be dealing with an individual that really has a lot to offer. And they've been overwhelmed. They've been overwhelmed with maybe even fear that perhaps maybe they felt like they had too much baggage to bring to the table. I just feel like on Tuesday somebody has made a decision to go down the path towards you know, all that is practical and real, you know, somebody is heading, headed towards a real, genuine offer that I think that they were really over, that has made them overwhelmed. Somebody has been making a really heavy decision in regards to um, accepting this offer. And I think the decision has been made, though. Somebody has made a decision that, you know, I, I, I want this opportunity. I, I want this, this uh, new love. So I feel like on Tuesday, a decision has been made. I feel like we have a very um, intellectual, intelligent person who has really taken a lot of time and um, this person has done his work. He's done his investigation, you know, and I think he's come come to the conclusion that you know, this is this is this is a this is a really 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 good opportunity. Um, yeah, so I really feel like Tuesday. This 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 is the sort of communication. So perhaps Tuesday somebody may be communicating. You know, what has been on their mind? What has been holding them back? Perhaps. Maybe they're going to communicate how why they've been so overwhelmed. I don't know. I feel like Tuesday we have an opportunity for communication to come through that could lead you 
I mean, this, this, you know, that's a place where people get married. It could lead you to, you know, marriage. Anyway, I think this is the, this is the start. I think Tuesday is the start of a new love connection. That has made somebody really, really overwhelmed. I think that they have really taken the time to to think about this. This hasn't been a hasty decision by any means. So, Wednesday. What's Wednesday? Wednesday is the 10th. Happy family. Children. These go right together, don't they? Your love life is being affected by children. Happy family. Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Somebody's been struggling. Somebody's been struggling going back and forth, perhaps because of their family, perhaps because of their children. They may have been delayed, moving very, very slow. Maybe they had other responsibilities, and maybe they're, this is responsibilities as well. So I really feel like somebody has been overwhelmed with responsibilities, and perhaps on Wednesday they, they actually take some steps. Um... I think that there's a message coming. There's a message coming um, that has been delayed. And it may have been delayed because of the children or because of the family or because there was issues at home or something like that. Somebody was struggling. They were dealing with a lot of conflict. Read another card. Oh, my God. Yeah, working on stability, working on security. So we have somebody here that is now realizing the potential um, to have a happy family, to come together and to unite. And I feel like we definitely have some sort of movement that is happening. Um, I feel like somebody has been reluctant to move forward, but it feels as though now they... They've built themselves up. They've really built themselves up to a more stable, secure position. I feel like Wednesday we have a, a really solid opportunity to bring happiness to a to a situation. It's just a happy. It's happy. It's like it's like letting go of the struggle, letting go of the tension. It's it's dropping the fear. It's dropping the conflict. I really feel like somebody is moving forward to bring people together. It's like finding peace. A rainbow is peace. It's like a peaceful, you know. Maybe somebody is communicating. You know, they're offering something really big. This is big. It is big. That Those are big pentacles. It's a big opportunity for happiness. And I think that this person was really struggling, right? They were really, really struggling with it, but... It's like now they're now they're ready for some reason. It's like now they're stable. It's like they've regained their stability. They've regained their their security, and they're feeling like really really strong and able and confident and <laughs> they may want to take back control of a situation. So anyway, I feel like Wednesday, somebody is going to probably, this is, probably take action. This person has been planning. They've been working hard to, to deal with their own struggles. I feel like we have somebody that has gained some sort of security, you know, where they weren't secure. Now they've gained some security and they're, they're offering something. Thursday, healer, separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon, healer of ages, ten of swords and the six of pentacles, this is a completion, something has ended, on Thursday, somebody has received healing from a separation, a painful, that's a painful separation, on Thursday, there's healing, you know, that has happened, 
brought to you from above from a painful separation. Somebody is getting what they deserved after a painful rep separation. You know, it's like sixes are the journey to balance and harmony. This is a six and this is a six. So I think somebody is about to feel more harmonious and at peace than they have in a long time. Thursday is a day of, you know, reciprocation. It's a day of um, a feeling at ease after really dealing with something really, really painful. I feel like the pain is is dissipating, right? It's dissipating. And I feel as though, you know, Thursday is a day of, um, you know, receiving. You know, it's a day of give and take as well. It's about, you know, I, you know, I really feel like Thursday is a day of love. I don't even need to love cards. I think there's been painful separation. Yes, there has. It's come to an end because we have this healer here. And now we have the, you know, balance and harmony coming back to a situation. It's like this healing has totally begun. Or it's come to the point where now you're ready to, you know, find the peace that you deserve. So I feel like... You know, there's there's going to be some um, back and forth give and take here, you know, on Thursday. Somebody could be receiving a gift this week, just saying. There could be a gift coming in. Friday. Financial constraints, yeah. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Stress, grieving, worry. But these were reversed, but I said we weren't going to do reversed. But I feel like we have somebody here that is is releasing some stress. And they're realizing that they have a genuine opportunity, a, a genuine opportunity for love. I feel like there has been some financial constraints, but... I feel like it's just about over if there has been. Because these two people, they, they can complement each other very well. And this card would say that. So I feel like we have two people that are coming together this week that, you know, are perfect for each other. They can complement each, each other very well. And they can help each other with the financial constraints. There will be equal give and take where they both can give to the partnership to provide the happy family. So I think on Thursday, there's definitely healing again. There's still healing. Healing of a you know, a financial situation as well. I think that somebody has been really stressed with whether they um, could heal this situation and whether they could needed to do it alone or they could let somebody in. And I feel like on Thursday, because these did come out reversed, I really, and I'm so used to doing reversed, I really feel like somebody is realizing there's an opportunity to release this this fear and this guilt and this anxiety and this lack and allow help in you know so i feel like friday i need another card empress oh yeah empress this is this is an opportunity for abundance i mean the empress she is the she's the giver of life i mean she gives life to things she brings she brings life into the home right she does she can grow anything anything she has that magic touch okay so i feel like we have somebody here what is what are we on friday that is bringing healing and abundance and love and tenderness and compassion to a difficult situation okay on friday i feel like friday is a day of um your love life really benefiting from the help of another person that is coming in to make it alive again, you know? Just brighten up everything she touches, whoever this person is, you know? Friday is a day of bringing happiness into your home in some way. Saturday. What is Saturday? Saturday is the 12th. This is the 11th. This is the birth of a new life. The birth of something new. The Empress gives birth to something new. She has endured a lot of suffering. 
but through her suffering she brings in a miracle so there's like a miracle that is going to be happening on Friday it's a miracle a blessing oh my god Saturday man holding heart chemistry calling in your soulmate the perfect match and this was reversed. I don't know if we should keep it reversed. I think we will be starting to live again, feeling alive again, coming out of stagnation. We have a perfect match on Saturday. This is everything you've waited for. This is your soulmate. The chemistry is through the park. I mean, it's out of this world and somebody is totally giving their heart. There's, 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 it's, it's undeniable. Saturday is all about love. We're looking at the are we talking on Saturday? Saturday is the 13th. Okay, let's talk about this for a second. What's this? This is 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. So this is the 12th. The 11th is is reciprocation. Give it, get it back and forth. Giving what you, getting what you deserve. You know, giving back and forth to each other. Um, healing a difficult situation. Letting go of the painful separ separation. That's Thursday. Friday is the blessing, <laughs> the blessing that you have been waiting for, and Saturday it's love, Saturday it is absolute love, it's, it's chemistry, it's, it's passion, um, there's a strong magnetic attraction here, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you bring you together, you know, it's coming out of stagnation, it's starting to feel alive again, this is it, this is the one, realizing that this is the one, falling in love. Saturday is all about love. It's a perfect match. It's destiny. It's meant to be. It's realizing that this soulmate that this is all about is the one. It truly is the one. This is the one. This, this leads to extreme happiness this week. And this is the week. This is the week where it all changes. It is, we're leading up to the full moon in Libra. This is the week where it all changes. This is where you decide your fate. No kidding. So I really feel as I see it right now that we have a week of letting go of an unrequited love situation that is no more. That has ended. Okay. In search for extreme happiness. I feel like we have two soulmates that are coming together that are absolutely positively meant to be. They can help each other to heal in more ways than one in every way. I feel as though um, there's an opportunity for uh, equal give and take here where there's an equal partnership where it's not one-sided, where both people are, you know, doing their part. And I feel like by, by Saturday, it's going to be totally realized that where have you been all my life? That's what I see for Saturday. So there could be some, you know, I'm surprised we haven't seen passion yet, but this chemistry and calling in your soulmate, somebody has manifested their perfect match. And that is no joke. Sunday. This ought to be interesting. Door to personal healing and happiness. The door has opened. Now we have this peace. Sunday, somebody is realizing that this has been heaven sent. It's heaven sent. The door has opened. This is a gift from God. It is safe for you to love. It's open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. These were all reversed, so we can look at them either way. Somebody has been reluctant to put in effort. Somebody has been reluctant to move on and put in effort into a new relationship. But I feel like now they are deciding. They're deciding that this is it. This is the commitment I have waited for. You know, they were reluctant. They didn't feel like it was safe, but I feel like they have been divinely guided that this is the commitment the marriage partner or whatever, the perfect match, and they're going to put in effort and they're going to make a move. So I really feel like Sunday we have somebody that is transitioning from an unhealthy, unhappy situation right into a commitment. That's commitment. So I think that we have a week full of love that is starting on Monday. It's about... You know, realizing that you deserve to be happy. It's funny that that card came out. You deserve love. On Monday, that's what it's about. 
It's about realizing that your happiness matters. And throughout the week, it just gets better and better and better and better. And at the end of this, it leads to commitment. So I, I don't know who this reading is for, but I feel if it's for you, congratulations. If it's not, I'm sorry. But um, we have a true blessing that has entered somebody's life. And somebody is about to, it looks to me like, take action because they realize that this is the perfect match. So I don't know who this reading is for. I truly hope that it is for you. Good luck. There's an opportunity for extreme happiness here. With your perfect match. Perfect match. Perfect match. Perfect match. Don't let an unrequited love situation that is no longer available hold you back, okay? Don't, don't let it hold you back. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. It is an opportunity of a lifetime. It's time to let go of the power struggles. It's time to make your move. This is a true blessing. It really, really is. It's a perfect, 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 perfect match. Somebody has called in their soulmate. Congratulations. Weather looks good for the week ahead. 